Alrighty guys, so I wanted to hop on here very quickly today and before we even get into it, happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day, hope you guys do have a great, great day out there today celebrating and honoring the country here in the United States. Well, if you're watching this outside of the United States, you're obviously not in the United States, but uh, for everybody here celebrating, happy 4th of July to you, you know dang well after this, I'm gonna I'm gonna go celebrate. So with that being said, let's dive into what is going on right now. We're gonna go over the futures. We'll talk quickly about crypto, which crypto right now is making a pretty big move. And I want to go over three stocks that are breaking out right now. Well, I guess not right now because the markets are closed, but the charts look good. And as of Friday, I guess the last um, trading day here, they are breaking out. So with that being said, sit back, relax. Cheers again. Happy 4th of July. And let's get right into the video. So right now it's about 12. What is it? 1215 on the East Coast. When I'm filming, we have the Dow futures down 0.3%, NASDAQ's down 0.4%, Russell down half a percent as we have the S&P futures. Those went down um, 0.4, roughly 0.35%. Um, percent. And you guys can see when the futures market opened last night, let me pull it up here on the five-day, five-minute, we had the S&P futures take a, uh, take a bit of a hit. They opened up at about 38.25, roughly, Took a hit to about 37.90, so right off the bat, they fell down 0.8%. And uh, since then, they have recovered a little bit. As you guys can see here on the intraday chart, we are making higher highs, higher lows, all that good stuff. Uh, but we're still down. Again, S&P futures down 0.4% on the day right now and looking at the nasdaq it's a lot of the same we saw a bit of a hit initially when the futures market opened and again we're still down but on the intraday chart you can see we've recovered throughout the day today and you can see um and for me to see let's pull it up here um they went down about 1% when the futures market opened last night at 6 p.m. here on the East Coast. So with that being said, futures are down. And the crazy thing is crypto is up in a major way right now. Let's pull that up and see what crypto is doing. And this is Webull. I personally use Webull to look at charts for Ethereum, Bitcoin, do you have to use Webull? No, but if you want to, you could get six stocks from them. Link down below with any amount deposited. Check it out. Webull is up, or not Webull, Coin, uh, not Coinbase. Jesus, guys, I'm mixing up my words today. Uh, Bitcoin is up 2.5% on the day-to-day. -day. Take a look here. It is up $435. And you guys know Bitcoin, Ethereum, crypto, this stuff is very volatile, right? Just earlier in the day, and by earlier in the day, I mean 3 a.m. on the East Coast. So as we just started getting into the um, you know 4th of July here, Bitcoin was at 19,000 flat. And then this thing ended up running all the way to 19.8 by 8 a.m. on the East Coast. Then it saw a bit of a pullback, as you guys can see here, to 19.5. And then at about 11 a.m., not too long ago, about an hour, hour, 10, 15 minutes ago, Bitcoin went ballistic in just the uh, just in the span of a couple of minutes here. It went from 19.5, took the high out, it went to about 20,100, and now it's at 19.7. So this looks like on the intraday chart here on, here on Webull, this is clearly breaking out but obviously in the grand scheme of things it's, it's still in a downtrend but we are making higher highs higher lows here on the intraday chart so we are seeing a lot of buying pressure but again don't get too excited guys i've mentioned this before because i mean and you guys know this we are still in a downtrend and this spike here let me make sure you guys can see it let me make my face a bit smaller you can see this little spike is nothing compared to the uh, the uh, crazy down downside Bitcoin has been experiencing. And if I pull up Ethereum, you guys can see a lot of the same, right? We're getting a nice pop today on Ethereum. Let me pull up this intraday. This is up 35 bucks right now on the day, up 3.2%. And at about 3 a.m. on the East Coast, guys, this was chilling at about, where was it, 10 1045, 1050, roughly a thousand and forty-five dollars, a thousand and fifty bucks. And it ended up taking off from that point 3 a.m. to about 
8.59 a.m. It hit about 1,100, went down to about 10.80, and then it ended up ripping an hour ago all the way to 11.30. So we're definitely getting that buying pressure right now. And mind you, again, those futures for the stock market, those are in the red. So we are seeing a bit of a divergence right now. Now, will this last into tomorrow and throughout the whole trading week where obviously the market's stock market is going to be open. We don't know that if this divergence will last, but as of now, crypto is doing well and the stock market futures are um, down. So let me know your thoughts in the comments as always, guys. And if you are uh, finding value, make sure to hit that like button as well and subscribe if you haven't done that already. If you haven't done that already, what are you doing? Make sure to subscribe and let's now talk about, actually, if you guys want some free stocks as well, 10 stocks for Moomoo, link down below, and 6 stocks from Weeble. Do not forget to get those free stocks. And I just realized they did extend that promotion. I swear that promotion was supposed to run out in June, but that's what a lot of these companies do, guys. They say, oh, it's going to run out, but they extend it. A lot of the time, they end up extending it, but... Who knows how long they're going to extend it for. So for now, again, get your 10 stocks from Moomoo, 6 stocks from Weeble, linked down below. It also helps out the channel, guys. Cheers to that. I do appreciate you as always. <clears throat> With that being said, I don't want to take too much time today. Let's zip through these stocks that are breaking out. Number one is Chewy, guys. Ticker, uh, ticker symbol C-H-W-Y. Chewy on Friday alone went up 7%, guys. Let me say that again. 7%. You can see here on the four-hour chart, and let me get some coffee real quick, guys. On the four-hour chart, we're noticing <clears throat> a breakout, right? Clear breakout. We're above the moving averages. We're getting that golden cross. And recently, which is very good for the Bulls, guys, this is very good for the Bulls, Chewy sold off from $41 because, quite frankly, it got way too dang hot at that point because it went from $28 to $41 in a couple of days. So it sold off to about $34. And then, again, on Friday, we got buying pressure that pushed this thing up 7%, and now it looks like we're getting a higher low at about this 50 SMA on the 4-hour chart. We're holding that uptrend. This is good stuff for the Bulls 100%. So this week, no joke, as soon as this week, this could end up going back over 40 Granted, if we have a horrible week, stocks collapse, this will probably collapse as well. Let's be real with ourselves now. But stock market, maybe it does well this week. Flat, maybe even if it's flat, we might get a pop in Chewy stock. I really, well, a continuation in the pop that we already got on Friday. So this is one that I'm kicking myself over because um, I talked about it a couple weeks ago and it was in the low mid 20s. And we were looking at some numbers, breaking some numbers down very quickly here on the uh, YouTube channel. And. I came to the conclusion very quickly that this was a stock that was undervalued, maybe not extremely undervalued, but it was at a point where I had to dive deeper into it to really, really consider um, an investment. And it got away from me, guys. You know, it was 20, 20, 25 bucks when I was looking at it, and now it's at 37. It's almost doubled up. So I'm like, all right, at this point, I might as well just trade it, be patient, because if we still have. Let's say we're only in the uh, fourth, fifth inning of this bear market. We might still have some more to go. Chewy could go back to 20, and then I might get my uh, chance again if I'm patient. So let's see how it goes down, guys. Right now I'm looking at Chewy mostly as a trade, um, and if it gets back to about 25 under 20, maybe 25 under 25, um, you know, I'll be looking to add some shares on that pullback. So the next one here is CrowdStrike, which went up 6.3%. On Friday, and look at this breakout above the moving averages, Golden Cross. We're holding this channel since the beginning, middle of May. This looks very good in my opinion, right? And again, 6% green day on Friday, which that's solidifying the uptrend even further. So I could see CrowdStrike for sure um, testing those highs from, I think these highs uh, were from last week or maybe the week before that, 24th of June. We hit about 187.50, 188. I think CrowdStrike could test that high this week and honestly, maybe even break it by the looks of it. You know, again, Golden Cross uptrends continuing. We might be going, call me crazy, but towards 190, I think that's where this could be going. Starbucks is another one. Let's zip through these guys because again, 
It's 4th of July. I don't want to be in here too long. And I know your time is valuable as well. Starbucks went up 4% on Friday. We're breaking out of the moving averages as well. And we're starting to get a golden cross on this stock. If I zoom in a bit, you can see it on the four-hour chart. And if you guys don't know what a golden cross is, it's essentially when a smaller time frame uh, or you know smaller moving average depending on what you use you know I know a lot of people don't use the 50 and the 180 but the smaller interval um, moving average whenever it crosses above the larger interval in this case 50 crossing above the 180 that's a golden cross that could signify or uh, signal rather more upside to come more green to come now does it always no but it's, a, it's, it's an indicator that I personally use, and I talk about it a lot here on the channel. So we are getting that golden cross here on Starbucks, and, and the opposite would be the 180 going under the 50, which would be a death cross. I, call, I, I say that a lot um, here on the channel as well. So if Starbucks now starts moving above 80, 81, 82, I think this is going to break out even further, guys. Let me be honest with you all. I think this could start going... 90 bucks towards 90 bucks. So those are three stocks, Chewy, CrowdStrike, Starbucks. And if you stuck till the end, this is another one. Let me know in the comments if you stuck till the end. Las Vegas Sands, guys. This is one that we're getting a lot of good news out of when it comes to China because they have a lot of their business in China. Now China and Macau, you know, China's now you know, um, you know, the, the COVID restrictions are getting lifted. Their economy's slowly coming back. I think we could get a further breakout here on Las Vegas Sands. Now, are we fully breaking out on this one? Maybe like um, like we are in, let's say, Chewy CrowdStrike. Not quite yet, but we are slowly pushing above the moving averages, uh, but we're still clearly in lower high territory. So if this starts pushing, I'd say, 37 50 38 bucks and takes that high out from the beginning of June. That's so important, right around 38. I'll put my alert there right now. Mark is at or above 38. That could be a point where, okay, now it's fully breaking out. The reversal is here, full stride. Hey, that could be a point where we uh, we end up trading it. So, well, I end up trading it. I can't tell you guys what to do. So, with that being said, if you all found value, hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Feel free to join my Patreon if you want all my moves in real time, call outs, morning videos, exclusive content, more access to me throughout the day. All of that's on Patreon, link down below, or you can go to stocksurfest.com slash Patreon. And now's the best time to try it out early in the month. If you don't like it, you could always cancel it. And also do not forget, guys, do not forget to get your 10 stocks from Moomoo with a $100 deposit and your six stocks from Weeble with any amount deposited. And you could also get 40 bucks off Seeking Alpha Premium. All of that's linked down below. And all those links help out the channel. And with that being said, cheers. Happy 4th of July, guys. Have a great day today. I'll see you later. Peace out.